Harry Sobs' Ministry of Defense snubbed his request of Trooping the Color for 2024. Shoe, Megan Harry left shock when the Ministry of Defense bans them from Trooping the Color 2024. Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have been dealt a severe blow by the Ministry of Defense's decision to ban them from the military color 2024. It's the Queen's official annual birthday celebration, or now you could say the King. The decision, believed to have been made by King Charles himself, left the couple shocked and angry as they had hoped to return to the UK for the occasion and reunite with the royal family. The Ministry of Defense, responsible for organizing the parade, previously confirmed that Harry and Meghan were not welcome at the event, citing their lack of involvement and commitment to the armed forces. Harry, who served in the army for 10 years and reached his rank of captain, was stripped of his honorary military titles and patronages after he and Meghan stepped back from royal duties. Last year, Meghan, who has never held any military role, was also removed from the patronage of the Royal National Theatre, which is a gift from the Queen herself. The Ministry of Defense stated that only active members of the royal family and their spouses are invited to join the Colors, which is a tradition that dates back to the 17th century and demonstrates the skill and loyalty citadel of British soldiers. The event, usually attended by thousands of spectators and broadcast live on television, features a procession of troops, horses, and bands, followed by a salute to the king and a spectacular aerial display by the Air Force. Harry and Meghan, who have been living in California with their two children since quitting work, and the royal family are said to have planned to fly back to the UK for the military holiday. The team colors will take place on June 14th of 24, 2024, this year. Signing lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify had hoped to use the occasion as an opportunity to mend fences with the royal family and the public following the interview outburst with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, in which they made a number of allegations of racism and abuse of the monarchy and government. However, their hopes were dashed by the decision of the Ministry of Defense, which was supported by King Charles himself, who ascended to the throne in 2023. After the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth, King Charles, who is battling cancer and undergoing chemotherapy at the moment, is said to be very hurt and very much disappointed by Harry and Meghan's actions and has decided to stay away from them completely. He also wishes to streamline the monarchy and the number of working royal family members, focusing on his immediate family and his eldest son, Prince William and Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales. Harry and Meghan were truly shocked and angered by the Ministry of Defense's decision, which they saw as a disregard of the punishment that they had been given. They were also accused of being disrespectful and ungrateful to the Queen, who has always supported them and allowed them to keep their titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Despite their exit from the royal family, some sources claim that Harry and Meghan are considering taking legal action against the Ministry of Defense and plan to release a statement to express their outrage and their disappointment. The decision prohibits Harry and Meghan from joining the troop. The color has caused a lot of controversy and debate amongst the public and the media, who were divided over the couple's status and role in the royal family. Some people supported the decision of the Ministry of Defense and criticized Harry and Meghan for being selfish and disloyal to the country's queen. Others have defended the couple and argued that they have the right to live their own lives and pursue their own careers and that they should still be treated with respect and with dignity. The 2024 Colored Parade, marking King Charles' first official birthday, is expected to be a grand and solemn event with the participation of the royal family and the armed forces. However, Harry and Meghan will not be joining the celebration and will have to watch it from afar as they remain estranged from the royal family.